sorry about that little cutoff. Um, I had realized that I had um, too much space taken up on my phone, and so it wouldn't let me record anymore, so I apologize for that. Basically, back to what I was saying, um, there was this time, and like I told you already, there was quite a bit of dogs, and um, I was doing it all by myself which takes a lot of time and you know I'm doing my own thing doing what I'm supposed to do minding my own business and he comes and sees like a little not even a lot just a little bit of kibble on the ground and he told me you need to pick that up I looked at him and by this point I had had enough of him bossing me around and telling me what to do and I said I have this many dogs that I need to walk and feed and do everything by myself and so that's my top priority right now. Picking up that little kibble off the floor is not my priority right now. And I said it in a firm voice. Like I, like he could tell I was just fed up with him at that point and just pissed off. So he, he left and he didn't bother me much after that. I mean a few times. I mean I still couldn't stand him. I didn't want to be around him, I didn't want to talk to him, I didn't want him to talk to me, I didn't want to look at me, like anything. Um, and me and at least the, what, the one of the other girls I mentioned earlier had talked to the manager about him, like we we complained to the manager about him. And she would just be like, oh that's just, that's his personality. I'm sorry, there's a difference between sarcastic and having a dry sense of humor and just being a straight up jerk. There there's a difference. I'm sorry, I, I don't buy that bull crap. I don't buy it. And like he would act so nice to everyone, even the people like me and the other people who he was terrible to. He would act so fake and so nice around the hospital manager. And and, but, like, when she wasn't around, he would just be so awful. And not to mention, the hospital manager wasn't really even that good either. Uh, she was really fake, too. And just, I didn't really care for her either. Um, but basically, the video's not about her. So it's about him. And he just did all these things. He, one of the other the girls that, you know, also couldn't stand him, she told me a time about when she, he literally made her cry, and he was just so rude to her, and then the other lady, you know, was about to get into a fight with him one time, because he was just being a plain piece of human garbage, <laughs> as I've already stated before. Um, so, yeah, that that's, that's co-worker number one. That's the one of the co-workers number one that I couldn't stand. The second one was at my second job, which I was only at this job for two and a half weeks. Two and a, two and a half weeks I was there. So I started this new job. It was, you know, I, I had left the animal hospital. I put in my resignation. I had left there, and I just didn't want to deal with all that anymore. So I left there. So I was looking for another place to work because I needed a job. And my mom had a friend, um, and her friend, she's a super nice lady, I love her, um, um, very nice lady, she, um, said, oh, well, I think there, there's an opening at the place I'm at now, and she, it was at this, um, place called Smith and & Nephew, and they deal with, they're like, it's like a warehouse for, like, medical, like, supplies, and, like, just all these different kind of supplies, and, um, basically what my job was, was to, um, dispose. So I was a disposer. I would, like, you know, break down boxes, you know, cut open packages, you know, just throw everything away. And, you know, and the things, boxes I broke down, then I, you know, put them in the trash compactor and compact them. That was what I did. And there, I had two, two other co-workers when I was there. One of them, who I, I really got along with, um, we had a lot in common, and um, I liked him a lot. The other one, not so much. I could tell within like the first day or two that I, I wasn't going to like him, and I was right. I, I couldn't stand him. I hated him. 
Um, I don't think he was as bad as my the coworker I'd already mentioned at the animal hospital, but he he was pretty far up there. He, I just I I hope I never see him again. I hope I never have to talk to him again. I don't want. Uh, it was awful. So he had only been there. This one I'm talking about. He had only been there one week before me. One week. And I get there and he just thinks that he just knows everything and that, you know, I need to listen to him and and he just thought he was the funniest person, like making all these stupid jokes that weren't funny at all. And he would constantly talk about memes and everything. And, you know, I, I tried to be cordial and nice, you know, at first. You know, I I try to be that person, but I'm sorry, it, it just it just started getting on my nerves, and he would. I I was clearly like showing that I was getting annoyed, like I was sighing, and I was just you know my facial expressions and everything should have said, I didn't like him, <laughs> and um, the problem is is he, would. Like, if he talked to you and you didn't answer, he'd be like, okay, fine, then don't talk, like, you know. And he would just try to make you talk and try to, like, and it's like, no, I don't want to talk to you. I don't have to like you. We're, we're co-workers, and we're here to do a job, and that's it. I don't have to talk to you. I don't have to like you. I mean, as long as we can just stay cordial and, you know, do our work, that's all I care about. I don't care about being your friend. I don't want to be your friend. Um, I and I just got so tired of it, and I I started like telling him like, um, you need to just stop and just leave me alone and let me do my work, and stop being acting like you know everything. And he just like he was just so annoying. Like he like just would not stop, and. He just, the other guy couldn't stand him either. The other guy didn't like him either. So, like, the other guy, like, one day me and the other guy were there. And, um, we were working with him. He went off or something. And then the other guy, you know, who I got along with was like, do you find him annoying? And I'm like, yes. Yes, I find him annoying. I can't stand him. And he's like, yeah, me too. Like, and, and we just started, like, talking, like, basically how we both just couldn't stand him and hated him. <laughs> And, um, basically, also, it did, he had a stepmother who worked there. She did, like, the payroll, and she was, like, in the front. She was the one who, like, let you in before you had your, you know, security badge and your clearance and everything. And, um, and I didn't really particularly care for her either. I mean, she was somewhat better than him, but I didn't really particularly care for him, her either, um. So, he had a stepmother who worked there, and there were three managers of that place, one lady and two guys. One of the guys and one of the ladies, they were super nice, super um, pleasant managers. They, they, you know, were nice and pleasant to us, and, you know, I didn't have any problems with them. And the other manager, he was kind of not so nice, and basically... Um, you know, we would be just in our station disposing. We were standing. I mean, it's it's hard for a person to just stand in one place for several hours. It's just, it's hard. And so, I mean, eventually we just sat down. We were still doing our work. We were still disposing and breaking down boxes. But we just sat down. And, you know, the Alec kid, he, he would sit down all the time too. And, um... That's the one I didn't like. And, you know, that one manager came over there. He's like, you guys can't be sitting down. You can't be doing that. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so me and Keenan, were, me and my friend, we were just like, okay. So, we were annoyed. He's like, because we were still doing our work. We were sitting like, what difference does it make if we're still getting the work done? Like, who cares? Like, I, I can handle being up on my feet if I'm, like, walking or moving around. But just standing in one place, it's really hard. Basically, uh, okay, I'm getting I'm getting off track here. But basically, there was one day, and me and, you know, 
the guy I liked and the guy I didn't like. We were all there disposing stuff. Eventually, at one point, like, you know, the guy we didn't like, he just kept saying, you got, you guys just don't like me, do we? And then the other guy was like, uh, finally, like, it took you long enough to, like, <laughs> and and I was just sitting there, like, you know, agreeing, like, nodding and agreeing with him because, I mean, we didn't want to talk to him. We didn't like him. Um, and, um, anyways, there was this one lady who came and talked to the lady I'd mentioned earlier, the lady who who referred me to the job and, you know, she was that nice lady. She helped me and everything. There was another lady who was apparently a client of the Smith and nephew. And they, um, she was talking to my mom's friend the whole time. And the other lady that was there, she was talking to both of them, like the whole day, like, well, not the whole day, but for like several hours. And me and, you know, the other two guys were over there disposing things. And the guy we didn't like, he was kind of sitting behind the boxes, so she couldn't see him. She just saw me and my friend. And, um, so, you know, we were still doing our job. We were sitting in the chairs that, you know, my mom's friend had offered us to give us chairs because she knew it was hard to just stand in one place. And, um, you know, she was a decent human being. And, um, so we were doing that. After that day, uh, I get a call from the temp hiring agency who I had to apply to get through to get that job. And he said, um, yeah, your assignment there is ended. You are no longer needed there. And I, I didn't think at the time to ask him why. But then I later called him and asked. And he said, you know, that that lady had complained. Said that, oh, we were goofing off and listening to music and not taking our work seriously or whatever. She some some bull crap like that I mean it was so stupid because like yes we were listening to music um my, my friend was listening to music on his phone out loud like he didn't have earphones in or anything but we were still doing our work and the lady my mom's friend saw that we were doing work we literally had cleaned about two or three pallets worth of product so for that lady to say oh we weren't doing anything she was just stupid and so you know, me and my friend, we got terminated from that place. We we got un we got wrongfully terminated, and the other guy was still there because he was like behind the behind the boxes where she the other lady couldn't see him, and he would literally sit and get on his phone for like minutes. Like he would just sit on his phone and he wouldn't even be doing anything. Me and the other guy were doing work, and yet we're the ones who we got terminated because that stupid lady. Stupid, another piece of human garbage had to make up a lie and go to that one manager. And he basically didn't even, I mean, he didn't even come try to get our side of the story. I guarantee you, if it had been one of the other two managers that were cool, they would have came and they would have tried to, you know, ask questions or be like, you know, well, hey, what's going on? No, he didn't do that. He didn't do that at all. So I'm like, okay, bye, deuces. Um, screw you too, you know. I... I'm not coming back, and uh, I was really mad and frustrated because I had literally lost a job. I mean, like, I had a job, and now I lost the job, and, you know, but eventually I'm like, oh, well, I won't have to see that, um, that stupid, dumb, irritating, irrelevant piece of garbage again, and I haven't, and so that's just my story about two former co-workers that I just had that I just could not stand. They were just, they were awful. Um, and you guys can let me know if you've had any, hor you know, horrible co-workers, um, piece pieces of crap that you just couldn't stand and that you just wish would just go away or just, you could just fling them to like outer space or something. Um, let me know because uh, everybody has to deal with these people and it sucks and they just make... They just make life living hell for the you know, for decent people like me and, you know, other people. And they're just literally leeches of the earth. They just suck the joy out of everything. They, and they're just awful and I hate them. So, I think I've gone about as long as I'm going to go for that. Bye. Hope you're all doing well. I'm out.